That's a dark hair, but that's not from me. That's from Jill Marie Jones. Who? Jill Marie Jones. Jill Marie Jones left her DNA on the table. Uh, sorry about that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We start with $10. $10 for the DNA of Jill Marie Jones. You're going to forget that her hair is in your pocket and then it's just going to like grow into a thing. My wife is going to be like, who's hair? Because I got some hair in her pocket. Josh. Josh is there. Hi. Oh, sorry. We, uh, yeah, we take over the panel. That's okay. I know that. No, I... it's good. Wait, what, who are you supposed to be? The guy from uh, the thing? Yeah, the guy from the thing. I'll take whatever I can from you guys. We're good. Which thing is my question? Uh, I want to know Hunger which thing. Are you the guy from Hunger Games? Uh, John Carpenter. No, no, it's my thing. It's my gig, really. But we're here for you guys. Really Wait, this are. is your. What do you mean? This is your... You know, I don't think you're going to get out of this. I met you yesterday. You didn't look like that. Yeah, That's I the thing. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, did. Yeah, I looked exactly like this yesterday. You were wearing different pants. You had a hat on? No, I didn't have a hat on. Scout's on her. It's a, it, it's a tattoo. I don't, trust, I don't trust Boy Scouts, man. Honestly, I, have, uh, I would trade. I would trade this for a mullet any day, honest. No, trust me, man. You don't want that. Yeah, the struggle is real. <laughs> How about some questions from our fabulous fans? Yeah. Absolutely. That's oh, there hey, it is. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 we got you guys all lined up for questions. Well, I thought it was standing room only. And then uh, I guess you're just here to ask questions. That too. <laughs> there you go. You're the only. You're, some people don't even pronounce the H usually. Yeah. <laughs> but we got here, and, you, and this is where they pronounce the H. We found the place. <laughs> Homage. It's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, where the H is king. That is correct, sir. Yeah, do you pronounce the H in uh, Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh, I forgot. Hey, Pittsburgh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a very long time. That's how I that's how I felt when I when I walked out the door today. I I met Pittsburgh. <laughs> it's like I was I was in Burbank, California, to, you know, a couple of hours ago, and then I hit Pittsburgh. <laughs> Let's then I went on to put on some longer, like, uh, underpants, because I didn't. Mean, <laughs> Wait, I didn't meet you yesterday. I met that guy. Yeah, right. that guy. A different guy with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> he looked how similar they look. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I was so confused. I'm like, you shave your head and you... G no, sorry. Okay, no. Okay, Josh, is the Josh is the one that obviously needs some glasses. We got <laughs> I wear glasses, but never do. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I have glasses, never wear them. Actually, I, wear, I have sunglasses that are prescription. Game changer. <laughs> let's get those Let's get those fabulous questions for our fans. So fascinating. Yeah, let me tell you about my prescription. <laughs> How's your astigmatism? I have, uh, uh, I don't know. Oh God, for God's sake, don't answer. All right, let's get a question. First question, right here. Uh, okay. Uh, so this one's for Michael. Uh, I, but anyway, whenever you found out that Abraham would be being sealed, how did you feel about that? <laughs> 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 no, I kind of knew it was coming. Where'd she go? There you are. Right here. Right here. I kind of knew it was coming. Um, it was a point in the story where I kind of outlived the comic Abraham, or was right at the point where, and uh, Robert Kirkman had said that he never liked the death that he gave Abraham in the comic, so. I knew that I wasn't going to have that death, but I knew that it would probably come shortly after. They, they were adding a tremendous amount of, of other characters, and I knew that they had to sort of call, because um, you just can't have that many characters on a TV show and, and do any of them justice. So, um, I figured he would be one of the ones to go, because he, he couldn't live in a world with me. With I'd rather have Carl, but... Oh. Oh. You'd rather have Carl dead? <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Next question. I just want you guys to know I'm slightly hyperventilating because I've never met anybody famous before in my life until today. Can't say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, I actually have just two quick questions. The first one, Michael, please take your shirt off. <laughs> that was a good one. Yes, that was not a question. Not a question. Thank you. Could you please? <laughs> <laughs> Eugene is, uh, I mean, his intelligence. That's his biggest asset for survival in the apocalypse, and uh, it sets him apart. I mean, it's not to say that, you know, other characters aren't smart, but he is the smartest man in any room, and um, and I also love that he loves to show it. Did he say that's his favorite asset? Yeah. I am nothing like Eugene. I am stupid. And Eugene's greatest asshat is, is intelligence. Sorry. His favorite hat hat. Um, but he has trouble wearing hats. Uh, it's, uh, you know, with his, with his new. But uh, I'd say the feathers are really nice. And uh, yeah, I don't know, his optimism. He's a, he's a very optimistic dude in a dark, dark world. You know, so, uh, you know, he, uh, he keeps as real as possible by being kind of unreal. So, yeah, yeah, so, uh, so I'd say his optimism, Ezekiel's optimism, and his tiger. Yeah. Uh, and their sort of characteristic of uh, Abraham is that he kind of goes through things as opposed to going around them. He went right through that back. Oh. Damn, that was a good one. Gosh, what? <laughs> Sorry, man. I know. Hey, man, when you got it, you got to throw it out there. That's a good one. Sorry, man. I know you're still twitching, but I just. <laughs> Welcome to the roast of Michael Cutler. Yeah. <laughs> this is how every panel's been going. Not my nuts. Oh, thank you. All right, next question for you over here. Good and loud. Okay, so um, I just want to say thank you, Michael, for like, breaking my heart when you did this to Rosita. Not Rosita, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Carl. Sasha. Sasha. Oh, yeah, Carl, like, he's Carl, be like a Carl Papa. I went, I went like this, I went, I went like this, but it was on Carl's bad side, so you couldn't see it. <laughs> Carl, Carl's in your head. You never know. You know what, I'll take, uh, I'll take uh, several more questions like that. <laughs> more, more, more questions just saying how awesome everybody's spatial area is. Has, it, has everybody seen Steel Man? Yeah. 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 Oh. 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 I just thought that needed to be acknowledged. <laughs> Next. Next question. First off, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, two quick questions, one for Michael, one for Josh. Michael, uh, Abraham had some memorable quotes this season. Were any of them ever? And Josh, um, did you have to understand any of the technical jargon that Eugene was going on about? <laughs> I'll answer my question before Josh lies. <laughs> Um, no, I, they were, everything was written. Uh, so. yeah. Yeah. You can't change a comma without like like writing a dissertation on uh, on uh, the Walking Dead. There, I get, there's so many characters you don't have time 
I mean, there, there's like, uh, every time I, I, I think I got to say two words differently, you know, uh, over the course of the season. And, uh, and it was writing Scott Gimple back and forth for a week before he, before he uh, finally was like, okay, fine, two words. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's very specific, very specific. I don't understand anything Eugene says. <laughs> Demonstrated by the <laughs> skill with which he operates his microphone. <laughs> and yes, and yes, I'm, I'm still dead and he's not. <laughs> Hi, guys ready for another one? Sure. Hi. Um, first of all, like everybody else has said, we love you guys. Michael, you're going to be so missed. And I know, I cried. And I'm sure everybody else did. Um, Eugene's character makes one bullet, you go all that way, and you make one bullet per gun. I mean, what were the writers thinking on that? You know, the well, or whatever. You know. Well, he didn't have a lot of shell casings. He just found one because they took away our ammo and our guns. So that's all we had was just that one bullet. And honestly, Eugene, or uh, Rosita probably feels like she's a good enough shot, you know, because of the training that Abraham gave her, because of, uh, you know, her, she has pretty good marksmanship. She's training the Alexandrians how to fight. She feels like she only needs one bullet. So if they had other shell casings, sure, she would have, uh, you know, they would have made more, but that's all they had was one. You know, like kind of on the way where you're going, you know, everybody's fighting zombies. There's going to be more people. Nothing wrong with this one. Don't fight this with logic. <laughs> <laughs> there was a strong breeze. There was some Santa Ana winds that blew all the casings out the sea. I think everybody else caught that during the episode. <laughs> That's a great question, though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank um, you. Michael, um, like when they killed off Herschel's character, they still had him come back for some, some cameo shots and stuff. Do you think that they're going to do that with Abraham's character? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be something cool for next year that they could look into. Um, but then, you know, they, oh, yeah. they don't tell us. Yeah, and just remember one question per person we have offline to get through. Hi, Emma, right? Ellen. Ellen, yeah. Well, nice to see you. Here. Thank you. Um, my question was actually, this is for Michael, and I can't believe I'm asking this question, but um, just... <laughs> Maybe you should think about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my question is, okay, um, why you, you dumped um, Rosita or Sasha when you could have been like Megan and just picked with both of them? I can't believe she has that question either. <laughs> it is a new world order. Uh, I think for the first time in Abraham's life, he actually fell in love. And we can't get out of heart. for each of you, your favorite line to deliver. <laughs> that particular line, uh, it got cut. Uh, it was when uh, Ezekiel was having trouble figuring out what to say. It was an incredible scene, though. I cried in that one as well. You know what? I would say I, I've, I've only been uh, It's not really one line. It's more. It's more that moment where, where when uh, when when he decides to to change the way he talks. Not not so much uh, what he was saying. And uh, to to me, that was the pivotal moment of the uh, of the uh, uh, episode and and of the story arc, I guess, for for Ezekiel. So it's um it's uh somewhere in between him saying uh, you know people just want someone to follow. Is where where I started to change uh, his voice, 
And, uh, and by the time uh, I, I say something like, uh, people see a dude with a tiger shoe. And that's, uh, but when I say shoe, you th then you know, that's not the king talking anymore. You know, that's definitely some other guy. That's Z. That's not a video. <laughs> Uh, my, this sounds like a cop out, but um, my my line hasn't aired yet. The line that I love. That is a cop out. No. <laughs> it's a good one. When you. It could be this weekend, or I may live past this weekend. And I'm not saying when it's coming, but it could happen tomorrow. But um, when you hear it, you'll know it. You'll go, yeah, that's Josh's favorite line. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in to Sunday at night. Can we go back to the awkward silence then? What, we got a heckler down here saying he wants to take it back to the awkward silence. I love it. Why don't you take your own advice? <laughs> I'm just I'm giving you crap, man. The stand-up comic in me is going after you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the kid, his son's like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Take him out, Josh. What's got coming? Suck my nuts. Yeah! Right, right, so secondly, you know how to fight a dick, Eugene. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the utmost of <laughs> Um, so my question is, I know how last week Carl had to sing a song for the request of vegan. If your characters had to sing a song for the request of vegan, what song would it be? Would you possibly give us a little bit, little like tidbit? I would do Enter Sandman. By the Sandman. <laughs> okay, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know where it's the song, man. <laughs> Oh, fight the power of the public enemy, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Gotta fight the power of the beat. Maybe that would be the same. Not even Skinner? <laughs> Hi. Hi, my question's for Michael. I know a lot of people have asked similar questions, but 